Hi guys, welcome to Make2 and a Minecraft tutorial. Today we're making an automatic cow, sheep or pig farm. Here we have the example one here. It's a tiny three by three. And if you build it completely above ground, it's six high. So three by three by six. It's a really compact design. Uh, one I use in my world is Rabid Smalls, which I'll have a link to. That is a really great design and a little bit more automatic than this one, but I wanted one that was a bit more compact and more readily extendable. Now when the adults breed, their babies will drop down here. The adults can't fall down because of this trapdoor, but the babies can because they're less than one block wide. They fall down here. When the babies are all grown up, you then hit this button like that. Lava comes out. Because of that sign, it can't go down. So if there are any babies here, they won't get killed. All the adults, which are more than one block high, they will get burned. And when they die, you collect everything down here, the leather, the steaks, the mutton, the wool, everything you want. Now this is the simplest design. I'm gonna have another couple of videos on the channel, so stay tuned for those, which is extending this exact same three by three by six design, but making a little bit fancier and automated for all your different automatic cow farming needs. So here's everything you're gonna to need to build this automatic cow, pig, or sheep farm. There's a whole bunch of things, there's 13 things, but you don't need that many of all of them. They're all pretty easy to come by. You're gonna need some slabs, not essential, but they're nice. A block of your choice, dispensers, or well, one dispenser, some ladders, a fence post, a button, some lava, some water, a sign, a trapdoor, a dropper, a chest, and some glass. So let's set about making this. So first things first, get your chest and place it there. This is the front. Now turn around and get the hopper. Now the hopper is going to go straight into the chest, so hold down the shift key. And you can see you've got the angle of the hopper going straight into the chest. Anything that goes into the hopper will flow into the chest. Next, we need soul sand. And again, hold down shift with the cursor over the dropper and there is a soul sand. Now, why we put soul sand on is because I found otherwise, and this is as Rabbit Small explains in his video, if you don't put soul sand on, then one, the little babies can actually they can live inside there, that little gap, which is not ideal. And two, actually, I found that not everything gets through into the dropper. It's not as efficient into the hopper. It's not as efficient. So this way, everything goes into the soul sand and then everything goes into the hopper and that goes into the chest. Now let's start building up the sides here. Let's put painted glass at the front just so you can see what's going on. Now, if you put a block here, you won't be able to open the chest. But with the glass, you can. You actually don't need the glass there at all, we're just doing it for, for fun, just so I think it looks a little bit nicer. Then put blocks all the way around, and now put another layer of blocks all the way around. This is where the babies are going to be living before they grow up. And now let's put the second layer, leaving that one empty. Put our piece of glass there, and now on this level, we're going to put our dispenser. Now place the dispenser here so that its face is facing inwards because that's what's going to be dispensing the lava to fill this whole square. Now let's put a block in there. Now importantly, you don't want the lava to kill anything down in the bottom. You've got any babies who haven't yet grown up. So depending on what you're growing, depends on what you put down here. If you're trying to breed sheep or cattle, then put a sign right there and don't put anything on the sign. You don't. You can if you want, you don't need to. If you're growing pigs, then you put a trapdoor down at the bottom because adult pigs are exactly one block high. So adult pigs won't get set on fire by the lava. But if you put that trapdoor down, they'll go to like just that level just above and then they'll get burned. But let's put a sign there for now. And then inside on the edge of the, on the outside edge of the dispenser, hold down shift key and put a button. And when you click that, that's gonna dispense the lava. So let's put some lava. Let's just get ourselves set up for the rest of the build. Now, normal clicking, put the lava inside the dispenser. Let's test this. Out comes the lava, it doesn't go down. Click it again, goes back in. Okay, let's do the next layer. Put one there, one there, hold down shift. Put another one there and then put a piece of glass on the top. 
Now this back bit is where actually the adults are going to be standing. So take a trapdoor, attach it to there, and just right click and it's open so that things can fall through which are smaller than, than the full adults. Next layer, one, two, three, and a piece of glass on front. Now in here, we're going to put a whole bunch of water. So just get your wooden bucket. Boom. So this is what we have so far. It's five tools from the soul sand. So we have our soul sand layer, our baby layer, our adult setting on fire layer, an area to trap the, stop the water because that trap door stops the water and also lets the baby through. So that's serving two purposes. And now we're almost done, believe it or not. Another layer up there, another piece of glass, and this is where the animals are going to go. Now to make sure they don't jump out, put some slabs. You can put full blocks, it's up to you. And I'm just going to put one there because this is going to help me. I'm going to put some animals into here right now. So we have some cow eggs. Let's also get out some wheat so we can breed them and see what happens. So holding on the back here, let's just put a bunch in. You can see they're bobbing up and down from the water. And now let's get our fence post just on that one there. Now you can see they're trapped so they can't get out. The good thing about this too is you can't fall in. <laughs> I've fallen in before and it wasn't super pleasant. So let's see what that looks like. They're bobbing up and down there. Now the reason why it's important to put the water there not just have them standing is bobbing up and down makes it much easier to breathe them because you're always getting a different, sh a different animal. If you don't have the water, while it's slightly better for animals to drop through, they'll drop through a little faster, the babies, it's much harder to actually breed. So now just hold down your wheat, click, 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 click. And now we, they do take a little bit of time, but from my experience, here we go, one's about to drop. They will come through before they get to an adult. It takes a little bit of time, but they will get there. So there we can see one drop through. There's, I think, one other little one in there, but that will come through in a little bit as well. If you want to be fully automatic and make this uh, sort of a little bit more efficient, I'm going to have other videos sharing how you can expand on this idea. Let's let that baby drop. So there we have our babies down here, the adults still up there. And what I like to do just to make it easier, you can put your ladders all the way up there. And if you want to put one, I left off a gap down there, you can put that there as well. So now if you want to climb up to the top, it's very easy to do so to carry on with the next breeding cycle. Now what I like to do is basically leave them here. There's no point to set them on fire right now. When you come back and you're ready to breed some more, that's when turn that on, then turn it off, then go up and breathe them. Now, the other important thing to note is do not leave this on when you're breeding them because when the babies fall through, even though they will fall straight through the lava, it will kill them. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Uh, I think this is a really compact and efficient three by three automatic farm for both pigs and sheep and cows, all of them. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you'd like to see further videos of how to automate this further, make it a super duper mass industrial uh, animal breeding machine, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, stay tuned for more Minecraft tutorials. Thanks for watching.